Wow, lots of screaming cats. So here we are coming to you again from Santa Rosa Nervesia in the Philippines. This is Cullen. Coming to you from a very hot Philippines. But it ain't too bad today. It's a little cloudy wind. And we are once again grilling. So on the menu today will be steak and chicken. I'm gonna barbecue some chicken. So on my table over here, which probably won't show up well, I brought a few spices from the States, some Tony Tatchery, some uh, steak seasoning, some Cajun Creole mix, some barbecue sauce, some baby rays, but they do have that here in the Philippines. Went shopping at SNR and seen they got a whole lot of stuff there. So, uh, so just finished starting the fire. Here you do it the old fashioned way. I'll show you what I mean. In the Philippines, you need this. This is, this is the key to getting your charcoal going. Your carburetor. You get one or two hey, coals what did you to want? light. What did you want from me, dear? A pot. Oh. Fan it a bit, it lights up. I think you can probably buy charcoal lighter, but you can get these huge bags of charcoal. That was like 10 bucks. No, not 10 bucks. It was 200 pesos, so four dollars. Four dollars for that bag of charcoal. It's not a bad price. So to start a fire, just need some charcoal, some paper. My gimbal's going crazy, as maybe it's the heat get to it. And then you just get you something to fan it with, a piece of cardboard to start it out. There's my daughter posing. Hi. Hello. Going to you. You're gonna video me. I just finished. All right, let's see how well you do. I have a new camera person, brand new camera person, videoing me. So we're going to barbecue some steaks for the kids and um, chicken for the adults. I got some chicken legs and thighs. About six of them. They're not that big, medium size. So we'll be slapping that on the grill here momentarily. All the kids are around. So we're going to get started. Then I'm going to go, uh, got three nice steaks, but they're still too cold. I'm going to take them out and let them defrost. Put them in the microwave. Season the chicken, season the steaks, and then we'll be ready to slap them on the grill here in like about 20 minutes, I hope. So, we'll take a short break. Ding. So as we cut back in, <clears throat> it's a little dark, got some baked beans going up growing, and got some chicken on the grill. Just marinated it, made up one with a little Tony Chachery and Creole seasoning and some barbecue sauce and some beer is what I'm marinating it with. And I bought a, different, a lot of different types of beans. Threw them all together on there. I'm going to have to, just waiting for this chicken to get so far along before I throw the steaks on there. 
that's going to take a while. My lovely bride is busy as all get out managing the house. And making sure the workers understand everything we want. That's a job. <clears throat> That's a serious job here. So, we're going to feed the kids steak. The adults are going to eat a barbecue chicken. And I'm doing that because my son told me that he's never eaten a real steak. So we went and bought some steaks, tried to, there wasn't too much of a choice at the market or at the little store we go shopping in. So I asked the butcher there what, what would be the best steak he got for grilling. So I bought three and did some pretty good thick cuts on them. So I hope it works all right. I got the camera turned backwards with the lights in my eyes. I hope it works out good. So, tonight is a lot cooler than the other night was, but as you see, I'm still sweating. Because the temperature, I don't know, it's still around 87 degrees here. But it's nice. Let me close up my grill. Trying to slowly do this chicken to make sure it's done. The grill is powerful hot right now. Hotter than I want it. So, I even burnt my fingers. But that's alright. So, from the Philippines, this is Cullen. Wishing everybody a wonderful barbecue day. I wish I could be fishing. All right, that's it. So as so we're checking back in, in the smoke process, almost knocked the beans over. We got some chicken up there that's done. And we're working on some steaks now. So we got a pot of baked beans. Tomorrow, grandbabies will be here, so it's okay to take care of the two babies. With both of them? Uh, Jerry and Lal and Justine has to go to uh, file her leave, maternity leave. Uh, so you have to take care of your one-week-old grandbaby and a five-year-old girl. Babysitter. Uh, babysit. Right. Babysit. You babysit the grandbabies. She gonna leave both of them here? <laughs> oh, oh, you're jumping ship. <laughs> See there? That's my little helper who's running out on me. But it's okay. It's all right. So. So. This is things we have to do tomorrow and so, but tonight we eat and it's some spicy baked beans. Like this. Mm. Mm. Very spicy. I mix like Three or four, probably four or five kinds together. But my grill is cooling down. I don't need it to cool down on the steaks. It needs to be hot. You should like it because you like all that spicy stuff. She probably can't even taste the pepper. Oh man. Oh man. Mm -hmm. It's too, too spicy yeah. for you. 
<laughs> you eating those Korean hot noodles? All right, folks, we're going to take a little break. We're waiting for the steaks to get done and be back with you. <laughs> 